Hi everybody. So this is a Rheem Performance electric tankless water heater. Uh, and we're going to open it up and take a look at what's inside. Uh, so this one here is the RETEX08. So it's the eight kilowatt model. And if you ever go to open this up, when you look around the back side of the unit, uh, it's got a screw here up on the top and another screw at the bottom. Uh, but you don't want to take those out. Uh, actually, the screws you need to open it, they actually say open, uh, it's these two at the bottom. And so it's just, it's just these two little Phillips head screws. So just need a Phillips head screwdriver, pop these two screws out, and then the case will open up from the bottom side. Uh, and just be careful when you do it, it's gonna pop off the control knob. So, just set this down. And then it just pops the knob off. That's what the knob looks like. So just a regular old, like a radio knob. And then the cover is basically held on at the top with these two plastic tabs and then at the bottom with these two little screws. So don't don't bother trying to take these these other two out because it's not gonna not gonna do anything. So there's that. And then on the inside, uh, you've got a you know really simple device. Uh, so you got your main power coming in here. Uh, it goes to these uh, these two terminals, and it's also grounded. Uh, on this water pipe in here. And uh, this is your logic board uh, with your display output that shows the temperature that it's programmed to deliver the water at. And then, uh, you know, you get your cold water coming in here. Uh, this has your sensor uh, that measures incoming water temperature uh, and also has your flow meter to detect that water is flowing. And then the water gets piped from there uh, from the inlet, uh, on some of the larger models, it would actually go into uh, the first of two heaters, but on this eight kilowatt, it only has one water heater. Uh, so basically what they've done on this model is they've installed a little, kind of hard to get that in there. They basically put these little bypass tubes in here uh, to bypass where the second heater would have been. Uh, and then just jumper the water down to the single heater unit. Uh, so you got a thermal protector switch here uh, in case the heater gets too hot, uh, then this will trip and cut the power to the unit. And then finally, you've got your uh, output water temperature sensor so it knows uh, water temperature coming in versus water temperature going out. And that's how it knows how much power to deliver to the heater to make your water the temperature that you want it at. So. Pretty cool, pretty simple, uh, pretty good unit. Used uh, several of these and had good luck and good results. So that's it. Pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.